the constitution of japan nineteen forty six this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by Avai in april two thousand fifteen the constitution of japan nineteen forty six promulgated on november third nineteen forty six put into effect on may third nineteen forty seven we the japanese people acting through our duly elected representatives in the national diet determined that we shall secure for ourselves and our posterity the fruits of peaceful cooperation with all nations and the blessings of liberty throughout this land and resolved that never again shall we be visited with the horrors of war through the action of government do proclaim that sovereign power resides with the people and do firmly establish this constitution government is a sacred trust of the people the authority for which is derived from the people the powers of which are exercised by the representatives of the people and the benefits of which are enjoyed by the people this is a universal principle of mankind upon which this constitution is founded we reject and revoke all constitutions laws ordinances and rescripts in conflict herewith we the japanese people desire peace for all time and are deeply conscious of the high ideals controlling human relationship and we have determined to preserve our security and existence trusting in the justice and faith of the peace-loving peoples of the world we desire to occupy an honored place in an international society striving for the preservation of peace and the banishment of tyranny and slavery oppression and intolerance for all time from the earth we recognize that all peoples of the world have the right to live in peace free from fear and want we believe that no nation is responsible to itself alone but that laws of political morality are universal and that obedience to such laws is incumbent upon all nations who would sustain their own sovereignty and justify their sovereign relationship with other nations we the japanese people pledge our national honor to accomplish these high ideals and purposes with all our resources chapter one the emperor article one the emperor shall be the symbol of the state and of the unity of the people deriving his position from the will of the people with whom resides sovereign power article two the imperial throne shall be dynastic and succeeded to in accordance with the imperial house law passed by the diet article three the advice and approval of the cabinet shall be required for all acts of the emperor in matters of state and the cabinet shall be responsible therefore article four the emperor shall perform only such acts in matters of state as are provided for in this constitution and he shall not have powers related to government paragraph two the emperor may delegate the performance of his acts in matters of state as may be provided by law article five when in accordance with the imperial house law a regency is established the regent shall perform his acts in matter of state in the emperor's name in this case paragraph one of the article will be applicable article six the emperor shall appoint the prime minister as designated by the diet paragraph two the emperor shall appoint the chief judge of the supreme court as designated by the cabinet article seven the emperor with the advice and approval of the cabinet shall perform the following acts in makers of state on behalf of the people one promulgation of amendments of the constitution laws cabinet orders and treaties two convocation of the diet three dissolution of the house of representatives four proclamation of general election of members of the diet five 
attestation of the appointment and dismissal of ministers of state and other officials as provided for by law and of full powers and credentials of ambassadors and ministers six attestation of general and special amnesty commutation of punishment reprieve and restoration of rights seven awarding of honours eight attestation of instruments of ratification and other diplomatic instruments as provided for by law nine receiving foreign ambassadors and ministers ten performance of ceremonial functions article eight no property can be given to or received by the imperial house nor can any gifts be made therefrom without the authorization of the diet chapter two renunciation of war article nine aspiring sincerely to an international peace based on justice and order the japanese people forever renounce war as a sovereign right of the nation and the threat or use of force as a mean of settling international disputes paragraph two in order to accomplish the aim of the preceding paragraph land sea and air forces as well as other war potential will never be maintained the right of belligerency of the state will not be recognized chapter three rights and duties of the people article ten the conditions necessary for being a japanese national shall be determined by law article eleven the people shall not be prevented from enjoying any of the fundamental human rights these fundamental human rights guaranteed to the people by this constitution shall be conferred upon the people of this and future generations as eternal and inviolate rights article twelve the freedoms and rights guaranteed to the people by this constitution shall be maintained by the constant endeavor of the people who shall refrain from any abuse of these freedoms and rights and shall always be responsible for utilizing them for the public welfare article thirteen all of the people shall be respected as individuals their right to life liberty and the pursuit of happiness shall to the extent that it does not interfere with the public welfare be the supreme consideration in legislation and in other governmental affairs article fourteen all of the people are equal under the law and there shall be no discrimination in political economic or social relations because of race creed sex social status or family origin paragraph two peers and peerage shall not be recognized paragraph three no privilege shall accompany any award of honor decoration or any distinction nor shall any such award be valid beyond the lifetime of the individual who now holds or hereafter may receive it article fifteen the people have the inalienable right to choose their public officials and to dismiss them paragraph two all public officials are servants of the whole community and not of any group thereof paragraph three universal adult suffrage is guaranteed with regard to the election of public officials paragraph four in all elections secrecy of the ballot shall not be violated a voter shall not be answerable publicly or privately for the choice he has made article sixteen every person shall have the right of peaceful petition for the redress of damage for the removal of public officials for the enactment repeal or amendment of law ordinances or regulations and for other matters nor shall any person be in any way discriminated against sponsoring such a petition article seventeen every person may sue for redress as provided by law from the state or a public entity in case he has suffered damage through illegal act of any public official article eighteen no person shall be held in bondage of any kind involuntary servitude except as punishment for crime is prohibited 
Article 19. Freedom of thought and conscience shall not be violated. Article 20. Freedom of religion is guaranteed to all. No religious organization shall receive any privileges from the state, nor exercise any political authority. Paragraph 2. No person shall be compelled to take part in any religious acts, celebration, rite, or practice. Paragraph 3. The state and its organs shall refrain from religious education or any other religious activity. Article 21. Freedom of assembly and association, as well as speech, press, and all other forms of expression, are guaranteed. Paragraph 2. No censorship shall be maintained, nor shall the secrecy of any means of communication be violated. Article 22. Every person shall have freedom to choose and change his residence, and to choose his occupation to the extent that it does not interfere with the public welfare. Paragraph 2. Freedom of all persons to move to a foreign country and to divest themselves of their nationality shall be inviolate. Article 23. Academic freedom is guaranteed. Article 24. Marriage shall be based only on the mutual consent of both sexes, and it shall be maintained through mutual cooperation with the equal rights of husband and wife as a basis. Paragraph 2. With regard to choice of spouse, property rights, inheritance, choice of domicile, divorce and other matters pertaining to marriage and the family, laws shall be enacted from the standpoint of individual dignity and the essential equality of the sexes. Article 25. All people shall have the right to maintain the minimum standards of wholesome and cultured living. Paragraph 2. In all spheres of life, the state shall use its endeavors for the promotion and extension of social welfare and security, and of public health. Article 26. All people shall have the right to receive an equal education correspondent to their ability, as provided by law. Paragraph 2. All people shall be obligated to have all boys and girls under their protection receive ordinary educations as provided for by law. Such compulsory education shall be free. Article 27. All people shall have the right and the obligation to work. Paragraph 2. Standards for wages, hours, rest and other working conditions shall be fixed by law. Paragraph 3. Children shall not be exploited. Article 28. The right of workers to organize and to bargain and act collectively is guaranteed. Article 29. The right to own or to hold property is inviolable. Paragraph 2. Property rights shall be defined by law in conformity with the public welfare. Paragraph 3. Private property may be taken for public use upon just compensation, therefore. Article 30. The people shall be liable to taxations as provided by law. Article 31. No person shall be deprived of life or liberty, nor shall any other criminal penalty be imposed, except according to procedure established by law. Article 32. No person shall be denied the right of access to the courts. Article 33. No person shall be apprehended except upon warrant issued by a competent judicial officer, which specifies the offence with which the person is charged, unless he is apprehended, the offence being committed. Article 34. No person shall be arrested or detained without being at once informed of the charges against him, or without the immediate privilege of counsel, nor shall he be detained without adequate cause, and upon demand of any person such cause must be immediately shown in open court in his presence and the presence of his counsel. Article 35. The right of all persons to be secure in their homes, 
papers and effects against entries searches and seizures shall not be impaired except upon warrant issued for adequate cause and particularly describing the place to be searched and things to be seized or except as provided by article thirty three paragraph two each search or seizure shall be made upon separate warrant issued by a competent judicial officer article thirty six the infliction of torture by any public officer and cruel punishments are absolutely forbidden article thirty seven in all criminal cases the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial tribunal paragraph two he shall be permitted full opportunity to examine all witnesses and he shall have the right of compulsory process for obtaining witnesses on his behalf at public expense paragraph three at all times the accused shall have the assistant of competent counsel who shall if the accused is unable to secure the same by his own efforts be assigned to his use by the state article thirty eight no person shall be compelled to testify against himself paragraph two confession made under compulsion torture or threat or after prolonged arrest or detention shall not be admitted in evidence paragraph three no person shall be convicted or punished in cases where the only proof against him is his own confession article thirty nine no person shall be held criminally liable for any act which was lawful at the time it was committed or of which he has been acquitted nor shall he be placed in double jeopardy article forty any person in case he is acquitted after he has been arrested or detained may sue the state for redress as provided by law chapter four the diet article forty one the diet shall be the highest organ of state power and shall be the sole law-making organ of the state article forty two the diet shall consist of two houses namely the house of representatives and the house of councillors article forty three both houses shall consist of elected members representative of all the people paragraph two the number of the members of each house shall be fixed by law article forty four the qualifications of members of both houses and their electors shall be fixed by law however there shall be no discrimination because of race creed sex social status family origin education property or income article forty five the term of office of members of the house of representatives shall be four years however the term shall be terminated before the full term is up in case the house of representatives is dissolved article forty six the term of office of members of the house of councillors shall be six years and election for half the members shall take place every three years article forty seven electoral districts method of voting and other matters pertaining to the method of election of members of both houses shall be fixed by law article forty eight no person shall be permitted to be a member of both houses simultaneously article forty nine members of both houses shall receive appropriate annual payment from the national treasury in accordance with law article fifty except in cases provided by law members of both houses shall be exempt from apprehension while the diet is in session and any members apprehended before the opening of the session shall be freed during the term of the session upon demand of the house article fifty one members of both houses shall not be held liable outside the house for speeches debates or votes cast inside the house article fifty two an ordinary session of the diet shall be convoked once per year article fifty three the cabinet may determine to convoke extraordinary sessions of the diet when a quarter or more of the total members of either house makes the demand the cabinet must determine on such convocation 
Article 54. When the House of Representatives is dissolved, there must be a general election of members of the House of Representatives within 40 days from the date of dissolution, and the Diet must be convoked within 30 days from the date of the election. Paragraph 2. When the House of Representatives is dissolved, the House of Councillors is closed at the same time. However, the Cabinet may in time of national emergency convoke the House of Councillors in emergency session. Paragraph 3. Measures taken at such session as mentioned in the proviso of the preceding paragraph shall be provisional and shall become null and void unless agreed to by the House of Representatives within a period of ten days after the opening of the next session of the Diet. Article 55. Each House shall judge disputes related to qualifications of its members. However, in order to deny a seat to any member, it is necessary to pass a resolution by a majority of two-thirds or more of the members present. Article 56. Business cannot be transacted in either House unless one-third or more of total membership is present. Paragraph 2. All matters shall be decided, in each House, by a majority of those present, except as elsewhere provided in the Constitution, and in case of a tie, the presiding officer shall decide the issue. Article 57. Deliberation in each House shall be public. However, a secret meeting may be held where a majority of two-thirds or more of those members present passes a resolution, therefore. Paragraph 2. Each House shall keep a record of proceedings. This record shall be published and given general circulation, excepting such parts of proceedings of secret session as may be deemed to require secrecy. Paragraph 3. Upon demand of one-fifth or more of the members present, votes of the members on any matter shall be recorded in the minutes. Article 58. Each House shall select its own President and other officials. Paragraph 2. Each House shall establish its rules pertaining to meetings, proceedings, and internal discipline, and may punish members for disorderly conduct. However, in order to expel a member, a majority of two-thirds or more of those members present must pass a resolution thereon. Article 59. A bill becomes a law on passage by both houses, except as otherwise provided by the Constitution. Paragraph 2. A bill which is passed by the House of Representatives, and upon which the House of Councillors makes a decision different from that of the House of Representatives, becomes a law when passed a second time by the House of Representatives, by a majority of two-thirds or more of the members present. Paragraph 3. The provision of the preceding paragraph does not preclude the House of Representatives from calling for the meeting of a joint committee of both Houses, provided for by law. Paragraph 4. Failure by the House of Councillors to take final action within sixty days after receipt of a bill passed by the House of Representatives, time in recess excepted, may be determined by the House of Representatives to constitute a rejection of the said bill by the House of Councillors. Article 60. The budget must first be submitted to the House of Representatives. Paragraph 2. Upon consideration of the budget, when the House of Councillors makes a decision different from that of the House of Representatives, and when no agreement can be reached even through a joint committee of both Houses provided for by law, or, in the case of failure by the House of Councillors to take final action within thirty days, the period of recess excluded, after the receipt of the budget passed by the House of Representatives, the decision of the House of Representatives shall be the decision of the Diet. Article 61. The second paragraph of the preceding article applies also to the Diet approval required for the conclusion of treaties. Article 62. 
each house may conduct investigations in relation to government and may demand the presence and testimony of witnesses and the production of records article sixty three the prime minister and other ministers of state may at any time appear in either house for the purpose of speaking on bills regardless of whether they are members of the house or not they must appear when their presence is required in order to give answers or explanations article sixty four the diet shall set up an impeachment court from among the members of both houses for the purpose of trying judges against whom removal proceedings have been instituted paragraph two matters relating to impeachment shall be provided by law chapter five the cabinet article sixty five executive power shall be vested in the cabinet article sixty six the cabinet shall consist of the prime minister who shall be its head and other ministers of state as provided for by law paragraph two the prime minister and other ministers of state must be civilians paragraph three the cabinet in the exercise of executive power shall be collectively responsible to the diet article sixty seven the prime minister shall be designated from among the members of the diet by a resolution of the diet this designation shall precede all other business paragraph two if the house of representatives and the house of councillors disagrees and if no agreement can be reached even through a joint committee of both houses provided for by law or the house of councillors fails to make designation within ten days exclusive of the period of recess after the house of representatives has made designation the decision of the house of representatives shall be the decision of the diet article sixty eight the prime minister shall appoint the ministers of state however a majority of their number must be chosen from among the members of the diet paragraph two the prime minister may remove the ministers of state as he chooses article sixty nine if the house of representatives passes a non-confidence resolution or rejects a confidence resolution the cabinet shall resign en masse unless the house of representatives is dissolved within ten days article seventy when there is a vacancy in the post of prime minister or upon the first convocation of the diet after a general election of members of the house of representatives the cabinet shall resign en masse article seventy one in the cases mentioned in the two preceding articles the cabinet shall continue its functions until the time when a new prime minister is appointed article seventy two the prime minister representing the cabinet submits bills reports on general national affairs and foreign relations to the diet and exercises control and supervision over various administrative branches article seventy three the cabinet in addition to other general administrative functions shall perform the following functions one administer the law faithfully conduct affairs of state two manage foreign affairs three conclude treaties however it shall obtain prior or depending on circumstances subsequent approval of the diet four administer the civil service in accordance with standards established by law five prepare the budget and present it to the diet six enact cabinet orders in order to execute the provisions of this constitution and of the law however it cannot include penal provisions in such cabinet orders unless authorized by such law seven decide on general amnesty special amnesty commutation of punishment reprieve and restoration of rights article seventy four all laws and cabinet orders shall be signed by the competent minister of state and countersigned by the prime minister article seventy five the ministers of state during their tenure of office shall not be subject to legal action without the consent of the prime minister 
However, the right to take that action is not impaired hereby. Chapter 6. Judiciary. Article 76. The whole judicial power is vested in a supreme court and in such inferior courts as are established by law. Paragraph 2. No extraordinary tribunal shall be established, nor shall any organ or agency of the executive be given final judicial power. Paragraph 3. All judges shall be independent in the exercise of their conscience and shall be bound only by this constitution and the laws. Article 77. The Supreme Court is vested with the rule-making power under which it determines the rules of procedure and of practice, and of matters relating to attorneys, the internal discipline of the courts, and the administration of judicial affairs. Paragraph 2. Public procurators shall be subject to the rule-making power of the Supreme Court. Paragraph 3. The Supreme Court may delegate the power to make rules for inferior courts to such courts. Article 78. Judges shall not be removed except by public impeachment unless judicially declared mentally or physically incompetent to perform official duties. No disciplinary action against judges shall be administered by any executive organ or agency. Article 79. The Supreme Court shall consist of a chief judge and such number of judges as may be determined by law. All such judges excepting the chief judge shall be appointed by the cabinet. Paragraph 2. The appointment of the judges of the Supreme Court shall be reviewed by the people at the first general election of members of the House of Representatives following their appointment, and shall be reviewed again at the first general election of members of the House of Representatives after a lapse of ten years, and in the same manner thereafter. Paragraph 3. In cases mentioned in the foregoing paragraph, when the majority of the voters favours the dismissal of a judge, he shall be dismissed. Paragraph 4. Matters pertaining to review shall be prescribed by law. Paragraph 5. The judges of the Supreme Court shall be retired upon the attainment of the ages fixed by law. Paragraph 6. All such judges shall receive, at regular stated intervals, adequate compensation which shall not be decreased during their terms of office. Article 80. The judges of the inferior courts shall be appointed by the cabinet from a list of persons nominated by the Supreme Court. All such judges shall hold office for a term of ten years with privilege of reappointment, provided that they shall be retired upon the attainment of the age as fixed by law. Paragraph 2. The judges of the inferior courts shall receive, at regular stated intervals, adequate compensation which shall not be decreased during their terms of office. Article 81. The Supreme Court is the court of last resort, with power to determine the constitutionality of any law, order, regulation, or official act. Article 82. Trials shall be conducted and judgment declared publicly. Paragraph 2. Where a court anonymously determines publicity to be dangerous to public order or morals, a trial may be conducted privately. But trials of political offences, offences involving the press, or cases wherein the rights of people as guaranteed in Chapter 3 of this Constitution are in question, shall always be conducted publicly. Chapter 7. Finance. Article 83. The power to administer national finances shall be exercised as the Diet shall determine. Article 84. No new taxes shall be imposed or existing ones modified except by law or under such conditions as law may prescribe. Article 85. No money shall be expended nor shall the state obligate itself, except as authorized by the Diet. Article 86. 
cabinet shall prepare and submit to the diet for its consideration and decision a budget for each fiscal year article eighty seven in order to provide for unforeseen deficiencies in the budget a reserve fund may be authorized by the diet to be expended upon the responsibility of the cabinet paragraph two the cabinet must get subsequent approval of the diet for all payments from the reserve fund article eighty eight all property of the imperial household shall belong to the state all expenses of the imperial household shall be appropriated by the diet in the budget article eighty nine no public money or other property shall be expended or appropriated for the use benefit or maintenance of any religious institution or association or for any charitable educational benevolent enterprises not under the control of public authority article ninety final accounts of the expenditures and revenues of state shall be audited annually by a board of audit and submitted by the cabinet to the diet together with the statement of audit during the fiscal year immediately following the period covered paragraph two the organization and competency of the board of audit shall be determined by law article ninety one at regular intervals and at least annually the cabinet shall report to the diet and the people on the state of national finances chapter eight local self-government article ninety two regulations concerning organization and operations of local public entities shall be fixed by law in accordance with the principle of local autonomy article ninety three the local public entities shall establish assemblies as their deliberative organs in accordance with the law paragraph two the chief executive officers of all local public entities the members of their assemblies and such other local officials as may be determined by law shall be elected by direct popular vote within their several communities article ninety four local entities shall have the right to manage their property affairs and administration and to enact their own regulations within law article ninety five a special law applicable to one local public entity cannot be enacted by the diet without the consent of the majority of the voters of the local public entity concerned obtained in accordance with law chapter nine amendments article ninety six amendment to this constitution shall be initiated by the diet through a concurring vote of two-thirds or more of all the members of each house and shall thereupon be submitted to the people for ratification which shall require the affirmative vote of a majority of all votes cast thereon at special referendum or at such election as the diet shall specify paragraph two amendments when so ratified shall immediately be promulgated by the emperor in the name of the people as an integral part of this constitution chapter ten supreme law article ninety seven the fundamental human rights by this constitution guaranteed to the people of japan are fruits of the age-old struggle of man to be free they have survived the many exacting tests for durability and are conferred upon this and future generations in trust to be held for all time inviolate article ninety eight this constitution shall be the supreme law of the nation and no law ordinance imperial rescript or other act of government or part thereof contrary to the provisions hereof shall have legal force or validity paragraph two the treaties concluded by japan and established laws of nations shall be faithfully observed article ninety nine the emperor or the regent as well as ministers of state members of the diet judges and all other public officials have the obligation to respect and uphold this constitution chapter eleven 
Supplementary Provisions Article 100 This Constitution shall be enforced as from the day when the period of six months will have elapsed, counting from the day of its promulgation. Paragraph 2 the enactment of laws necessary for the enforcement of this constitution the election of members of the house of councillors and the procedure for the convocation of the diet and other preparatory procedures for the enforcement of this constitution may be executed before the day prescribed in the preceding paragraph article one hundred and one if the house of councillors is not constituted before the effective date of this constitution the house of representatives shall function as the diet until such time as the house of councillors shall be constituted article one hundred and two the term of office for half the members of the house of councillors serving in the first term under this constitution shall be three years Members falling under this category shall be determined in accordance with law. Article 103. The Ministers of State, Members of the House of Representatives, and Judges in Office on the effective date of this Constitution, and all other public officials who occupy positions corresponding to such positions as are recognized by this Constitution, shall not forfeit their positions automatically on account of the enforcement of this Constitution, unless otherwise specified by law when however successors are elected or appointed under the provisions of this constitution they shall forfeit their positions as a matter of course end of the constitution of japan 1946The Constitution of Japan, 1946. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Avai in April 2015. The Constitution of Japan, 1946. Promulgated on November 3, 1946 put into effect on May 3, 1947. We, the Japanese people, acting through our duly elected representatives in the National Diet, determined that we shall secure for ourselves and our posterity the fruits of peaceful cooperation with all nations and the blessings of liberty throughout this land, and resolved that never again shall we be visited with the horrors of war through the action of government, do proclaim that sovereign power resides with the people and do firmly establish this constitution government is a sacred trust of the people the authority for which is derived from the people the powers of which are exercised by the representatives of the people and the benefits of which are enjoyed by the people this is a universal principle of mankind upon which this constitution is founded we reject and revoke all constitutions laws ordinances and rescripts in conflict herewith we the japanese people desire peace for all time and are deeply conscious of the high ideals controlling human relationship and we have determined to preserve our security and existence trusting in the justice and faith of the peace-loving peoples of the world we desire to occupy an honored place in an internet without the authorization of the diet chapter two renunciation of war article nine aspiring sincerely to an international peace based on justice and order the japanese people forever renounce war as a sovereign right of the nation and the threat or use of force as a mean of settling international disputes paragraph two in order to accomplish the aim of the preceding paragraph land sea and air forces as well as other war potential will never be maintained the right of belligerency of the state will not be recognized chapter three rights and duties of the people 
Article 10. The conditions necessary for being a Japanese national shall be determined by law. Article 11. The people shall not be prevented from enjoying any of the fundamental human rights. These fundamental human rights guaranteed to the people by this constitution shall be conferred upon the people of this and future generations as eternal and inviolate rights. Article 12. The freedoms and rights guaranteed to the people by this constitution shall be maintained by the constant endeavor of the people, who shall refrain from any abuse of these freedoms and rights, and shall always be responsible for utilizing them for the public welfare. Article 13. All of the people shall be respected as individuals. Their right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness shall, to the extent that it does not interfere with the public welfare, be the supreme consideration in legislation national society striving for the preservation of peace and the banishment of tyranny and slavery, oppression and intolerance for all time from the earth. We recognize that all peoples of the world have the right to live in peace, free from fear and want. We believe that no nation is responsible to itself alone, but that laws of political morality are universal, and that obedience to such laws is incumbent upon all nations who would sustain their own sovereignty and justify their sovereign relationship with other nations. We, the Japanese people, pledge our national honor to accomplish these high ideals and purposes with all our resources. Chapter 1. The Emperor. Article 1. The Emperor shall be the symbol of the state and of the unity of the people, deriving his position from the will of the people with whom resides sovereign power. Article 2. The imperial throne shall be dynastic and succeeded to in accordance with the imperial house law passed by the Diet. Article 3. The advice and approval of the cabinet shall be required for all acts of the emperor in matters of state, and the cabinet shall be responsible therefor. Article 4. The emperor shall perform only such acts in matters of state as are provided for in this constitution, and he shall not have powers related to government. Paragraph 2. The Emperor may delegate the performance of his acts in matters of state as may be provided by law. Article 5. When, in accordance with the Imperial House Law, a Regency is established, the Regent shall perform his acts in matter of state in the Emperor's name. In this case, paragraph 1 of the article will be applicable. Article 6. The Emperor shall appoint the Prime Minister as designated by the Diet. Paragraph 2. The Emperor shall appoint the Chief Judge of the Supreme Court as designated by the Cabinet. Article 7. The Emperor, with the advice and approval of the Cabinet, shall perform the following acts in Makers of State on behalf of the people. 1. Promulgation of amendments of the Constitution, laws, cabinet orders, and treaties. 2. Convocation of the Diet. 3. Dissolution of the House of Representatives. 4. Proclamation of general election of members of the Diet. 5. Attestation of the appointment and dismissal of Ministers of State and other officials as provided for by law, and of full powers and credentials of ambassadors and ministers. 6. Attestation of general and special amnesty, commutation of punishment, reprieve and restoration of rights. 7. Awarding of honors. 8. Attestation of instruments of ratification and other diplomatic instruments as provided for by law. 9. Receiving foreign ambassadors and ministers. 10. Performance of ceremonial functions. Article 8. No property can be given to or received by the Imperial House, nor can any gifts be made therefrom and in other governmental affairs. 
Article 14. All of the people are equal under the law, and there shall be no discrimination in political, economic, or social relations, because of race, creed, sex, social status, or family origin. Paragraph 2. Peers and peerage shall not be recognized. Paragraph 3. No privilege shall accompany any award of honor, decoration, or any distinction, nor shall any such award be valid beyond the lifetime of the individual who now holds or hereafter may receive it. Article 15. The people have the inalienable right to choose their public officials and to dismiss them. Paragraph 2. All public officials are servants of the whole community, and not of any group thereof. Paragraph 3. Universal adult suffrage is guaranteed with regard to the election of public officials. Paragraph 4. In all elections, secrecy of the ballot shall not be violated. A voter shall not be answerable, publicly or privately, for the choice he has made. Article 16. Every person shall have the right of peaceful petition for the redress of damage, for the removal of public officials, for the enactment, repeal or amendment of law, ordinances or regulations, and for other matters, nor shall any person be in any way discriminated against sponsoring such a petition. Article 17. Every person may sue for redress as provided by law from the state or a public entity, in case he has suffered.